on this Tuesday the 10th. I hope you guys are doing well today, and I hope you're ready for your test. Let's jump into today's announcements. First of all, there will be a quiz on Friday. We'll talk more about that on Thursday. You have two assignments to turn in. Now, this is the one here that was done for bonus points. Sealy, you've turned that in already, okay? Hannah, I need this from you. Remember, ladies, until both of these are turned in, I'm giving you a zero on your test. Now, you do not, you did not have to finish both of these, okay? But I want you to turn in what you have done. If I'm going to give you two class periods to sit and do nothing but work on these two assignments, then I want to make sure you're doing work and not just sitting there, okay? So Hannah, I need both of these from you. Uh, Seely, I need this one from you, okay? Until I get those guys, um, you, you still take your test today. When I say that you have a zero, that does not mean you don't take your test. You take your test, I put a zero in for your grade until I get these two assignments. And again, for the second or third time, you do not have to finish those assignments, but turn in what you have done, okay? No incompletes. Today we're going to take the Chapter 3 test. Please don't forget, this is huge, guys. Yesterday, I gave you homework. It is due tomorrow. Yesterday, I gave you homework. It's due tomorrow, okay? Um, let's go over today's test. Please pause the video, get a copy of the test, and then we will go over the test together. Okay, first thing I want you to do, turn to the very, very last page, please. The very last page. And on the word bank, I made a couple mistakes, so listen carefully, all right? There are three, four columns of words. Okay, one column, two columns, three columns, and a short column here. The very last word right here is congruent. Cross that off. You do not need that, okay? There's two words I should have put on the list. I forgot to. So add these two words, please. Acute needs to be on the list. And complementary needs to be on the list, okay? So please add those two words, all right? Now, here we go. Page one, fill in the blank. Page two, listing number 14. Find the measure of angle X. Numbers 15 and 16. Find the measure of angles 1 and 2. 17, 18, and 19. Explain how you know that line A is parallel to line B. Use one of your six reasons listed back on the second page of your test. Um, for numbers 20 and 21, solve for X. And then 22 through 25, um, list out the correct numbers of the pairs of angles that come with each term. Are you listening? List out every single one. So for 22, list out all of the alternate interior angles. 23, list out all of the exterior angles, um, etc. Okay? Um, that's it, guys. Please get to work on your tests. Have a great day today. Contact me if you have any questions at all.